And a security guard was killed last night at a bar in Dallas. 47-year-old Martin Chavez had just escorted a man out of the El Palingue lounge when the man tried to return to the bar with a gun. Witnesses say Chavez also drew his gun and asked the suspect to put down his. He refused and shot Chavez, killing him. An off-duty sheriff's deputy was at the club and was able to stop the shooter from leaving. He was arrested when police arrived. You're watching 11 on 11. 11 minutes of non-stop news and your forecast first on 11 News tonight. Good evening, everyone. I'm Jerry Jenkins. And I'm Beth McKay. A violent shooting last night in Dallas takes the life of a security guard. And another security guard was shot during a uh, bank robbery last week. It's a difficult job that often goes unnoticed. 11 News reporter Steve Pickett with more on life inside that security uniform. Steve? Jerry, you're right. It would be similar, if you will, for this observation and example, the life of a taxi driver. If one is murdered, it affects all of them. The particular bar behind us last night, it was not just a man who was a, a security guard who was murdered here. We're talking about a man who was here to work, to feed and house his family. Leonor Chavez's eyes show the heartbreak. Her 11-year-old daughter's tears show the pain. A family broken. Husband and father, 47-year-old Martin Chavez, is dead. Chavez worked as a security officer outside the East Grand Avenue bar. Police arrested 31-year-old Andreas Aldana for the murder of Chavez. Witnesses say Aldana shot Chavez after the security officer removed him from the bar and the two argued. A security guard killed an entire family victimized. It's, it feels sad because my dad, he doesn't, he's not alive anymore. Last Friday in Fort Worth, security officer Dan Morris took a bullet to the head. A bank robbery suspect shot him. There are moments when it could be dangerous. Security officer Kevin Presley supervises a team of men and women paid to watch and protect people and property. They are trained, but they are not police. When violence and trouble occurs, it is a reminder for any guard. It always makes us more concerned whenever something like that happens. It beats us up a little bit more, puts us more on our toes. Martin Chavez's wife talked about her concern for her husband and his job. There was never any real trouble before, she said. Not until Martin Chavez argued with a man with a gun. That family now is trying to come up with money to pay for the funeral services of Mr. Chavez. We are told by security guards that we talk with that violence of this nature is extremely rare. There's obviously concern about confrontations when you work in bars. Off-duty police officers do this job often as well. The police are trying to deal with that and maybe remove some of those officers from those kinds of positions. But never the kind of murder that we've seen last night and the incident from last week is too, uh, as well. Obviously isolated incidents, but obviously bringing some real concern for people in those positions. Steve, how is the Fort Worth security guard, Mr. Morris, doing tonight? We are told that he is still in uh, extremely critical condition. He is on life support. That wound obviously very serious and critical for him. Still alive tonight. Uh, we had talked with uh, officials from the hospital, but he is still on life support. Okay, thank you very much. Steve Pickett live in Dallas tonight.